Hey everyone, a little bit of fun on a Friday. I wanted to answer the question, why is my handle NTFAQ guy on YouTube, on Twitter? And so I want to just give a little bit of a backstory so you understand why this is, because obviously there's a lot of viewers who maybe don't have the history of Windows NT. So NT FAQ, F-A-Q, not fat, as some people like to say, um, comes from really how I started out. So when I was 18, I joined Logica as a VAX VMS systems administrator, which was really a glorified way of saying I changed backup tapes in the basement and I would fetch printouts for the developers. But it, it was fun. My job was on a VT220 terminal and I was learning things. Now, I was also into comics big time, uh, Batman, Superman. And Bruce Wayne had Wayne Tech. So when I was about 19, I started Savile Tech. So I created SavileTech.com and I hosted that in England. And actually I can jump over and if we kind of look, this was my site at the time, Savile Tech. Now this is kind of the non-Java version because I don't have Java running um, in Edge. But if it was, these kind of highlighted as you went over it. And you can actually see I did have hair at one point. So that was when I was like 19 years old. I did actually have hair once. And I would do my computer degree at night. So I started work at 18, and a few nights a week I went to, it was actually Thames Polytechnic, I think at the time, but now kind of University of Greenwich to do my degree. And I started writing down information about VMS. So I created kind of this site about VMS. And then what happened was we actually got a NT box in as well. And I started to play around with it and I would ask a lot of questions on the news groups. Internet wasn't a huge thing in terms of the web at this time. You had these text-based news groups. So I would ask questions and then people would help me. And so then I started to answer questions. Now you're using NT. So this is kind of an NT server disk. And it was kind of different that it didn't run on top of DOS, like the original Windows for work groups or Windows 95 even. This was a complete kernel. So when you think about Windows today, Windows 10, Windows 11, they are all actually built on the NT code base. And people would ask the same questions over and over again. So then what I started was a frequently asked questions page on my website. So here you could kind of see I had this NT FAQ. Now this has been there for a while. And one of the things you'll kind of notice is there's kind of a little advert up here. Because what happened was, I was hosting this at Corpex. So this was a UK company. And honestly, it was just too expensive. I, I didn't have any money. So I was, this was a starting kind of job. Uh, I didn't even have enough money to pay for train fare. I would ride my bike 13 miles each way uh, to work, rain or shine, whatever. And that's kind of what got me into the fitness stuff, I think. So it got just too expensive for me to host. And this company, uh, Software Metrics, I think it was GFI Facts, would pay my costs. So I didn't make any money, they would pay the cost to host it. But eventually I had to move it. So I split that NT part actually off into ntfaq.com. So I don't actually have a screenshot of ntfaq.com, so I kind of bought it off of ASP, so I can't just run it locally. What I can kind of show you though is, I've actually never shown this to anyone before. I maintained a HTML help version of it for my own benefits. So on the original site, this was before really search engines, I wrote a Java applet. So I maintained a meta file that as I wrote a FAQ, a frequently asked questions, I would add it to my meta file that the Java applet would load so you could type in keywords and it would go and find matching entries. So I kind of wrote that myself. Uh, I even have like a little development thing where I talk about, hey, applets you can use. I made it available as a download. On my main page, you can kind of see I wrote a Space Boulders Java applet game. So I, I would kind of play around with these things. But the NT fact got really big. Like I had thousands and thousands of entries. And you could say Azure was kind of light. When Azure really became mainstream, I, I kind of stopped doing the FAQ. But this was very popular. This was kind of before the days even really Microsoft had a big knowledge base or anything like that. So I moved it to this separate site, ntfaq.com, because it was much cheaper to host things in America. Even then I struggled 
to pay for that. And again, this company would kind of cover my costs occasionally. And eventually I just couldn't maintain it anymore. I couldn't afford it. And Windows IT Pro bought the site off of me. I continued to maintain it and create all the content, but I didn't have to worry about the hosting of it anymore. So that was kind of a, a big relief. So Penton kind of took that over. So it was a very popular site. A lot of people doing Windows NT would use it to go and get help. It's what kicked off a lot of kind of the books I did and magazine articles I did. So obviously I had NTFAQ. That was kind of a big part of what, what I did. And again, it was a hobby. It wasn't my day job. I did it kind of evenings and weekends. I poured huge amounts of time into this thing. So why is my handle NTFAQ guy? So there was one day um, I had to actually go and pick up a prescription for my sister actually from a pharmacy. And I went to the pharmacy and I spoke at some user groups as well. And as it turned out, the pharmacist was into Windows NT. And as I was getting the prescription, the pharmacist actually came out. I was like, hey, are you the NT FAQ guy? I was like, yes, I am. And that's where it came from. Uh, it's nothing more exciting than that. This pharmacist who was into Windows NT Hey, are you NTFAQ guy? And I was like, oh, I quite like that. And so as things like YouTube and Twitter took off, I used that as my handle. So I use it on Twitter, I use it on YouTube, obviously not LinkedIn. Um, Reddit, I'm just John Savile. And I'm always grateful to this day that when I saw that pharmacist, it was a prescription for my sister and it wasn't some embarrassing ailment I had. Um, hey, are you NTFAQ guy? Here's your piles cream or something else. So that, that worked out quite well. I probably wouldn't have used the handle had it been that particular scenario. Um, so that's it. That's why I'm NTFAQ guy. It's literally a pharmacist in England, right at the start of when I was doing things, um, was into Windows NT. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, NTFAQ guy, and it's just kind of stuck. So that was it. Maybe interesting, maybe not. Uh, until next video, take care.